Hey everybody, Dave Forehand, Dallas Arboretum. I'm here at the Lay Family Garden and it's time to take a tour and take a look at all the beautiful mayflowers that are blooming. Of course, back in the early spring, we had the tulips, the daffodils, the uh, hyacinths blooming, we had pansies, violets. All those things have been pulled out and we've replanted with beautiful new uh, mid to late spring blooming flowers. We want to take a look at those here as we stroll through the Lay Garden today. So come on, let's take a look. See right here, this is kind of a neat little like side bed. We've got dwarf banana and a really cute dwarf coleus that are uh, mixed together. These are heat tolerant plants that'll go right to fall. They'll take us till frost, which may not be till December. But let's hop in this little pocket garden. This is a cool little space. We use this garden a lot uh, for small weddings. They find it's just perfect. It's just also a spot to, to sit and enjoy uh, a shady place here in the garden. Interesting thing about this space, uh, the original garden was completed in 1989. The Lay Family Garden was the first named garden. It was designed and built here at the Arboretum. It was a gift of, from Mimi Lay to her, in honor of her husband, Herman Lay, who was the founder of Lay Potato Chips. And we've had this garden ever since. And about uh, seven and a half years ago, some of the children of uh, Mimi Lay wanted to do a refurbishment and helped uh, with us to do that. And when we re did a redesign uh, with the uh, landscape architect Warren Johnson, we uh, decided that the original gate, which is over here, was a little uh, too small for folks to enter this garden. So he repurposed this entrance gate to the garden into a little uh, pocket garden. So you can see the nice uh, ironwork and stones. So this has become a really popular wedding spot right here. And it's got this gorgeous little octagon fountain as well, surrounded by this ring of crepe myrtles. I call this crepe myrtle stone hinge. They've been in here blooming for many, many years. And you see this gorgeous little fountain as well. So great little space. You miss it sometimes if you don't look. So when you visit again, you might want to pop in and see this little secret garden or the pocket garden here at the Lay Family Garden. As we continue to enter, we come in and kind of the vistas really open up here. As you can see, we're right next to the Alex and Roberta Camp house, one of our two historic homes here that are on the property. And from here, you see we have a great view out to White Rock Lake, which is the first water source for the city of Dallas. Built in 1911, and it's a gorgeous park lake. Now, the whole lake is uh, city park property as well as the edge around is all park property and it's a beautiful hike bike trail. It goes around the whole thing and the Dallas Arboretum uh, connects to that as well. And we're part of the city park system. If you see the Long Vista back, those beautiful water walls as well. That was part of the original design from the garden from 1989 with those uh, beautiful sheets of water. And it opens this great lawn. So let's take a look over here. There's a, a beautiful path that takes us along the edges of the garden and the water feature here. There you see a glimpse of some of these fabulous new flowers. This is sun patience. This is a uh, type of impatient that's uh, uh, real popular to use now. It's a cross to New Guinea impatient and the regular impatient. Uh, species and this is a compact deep rose so it's one solid monoculture of this deep rose that works really good and there's some purslane here with a little double bloom as well this uh, plant both cases very heat tolerant will take us through the summer although i will say sun patients do like a little afternoon shade so even though their name says sun patient they don't really take full dallas sun in july and august got to take a little pit stop right here let me call all our friends over. Here are Happy Koi. Always glad to greet everybody that comes. When you come to visit, most folks just look at them from the bridge, but there's a nice soft bark trail just back down the path. If you take that trail around all around the back of the koi pond, you end up down below here on the little rock ledge where you can get really close and uh, they'll eat right out of your hand. They're so, so cool. 
but very, very friendly. And koi, if you don't know, very long lived. They've recorded cases of koi living over 100 years. So these fish uh, can be around for a long time. The gorgeous little water feature continues on this side. This was all added with the redo refurbishment seven years ago. And we wanted this water feature to come all the way down and connect to um, the koi pond. We had this large red oak, so uh, Warren Johnson's solution was to just create this little like loop around, protect the tree and keep it safe. So we ended up with a little island here. So if you want to picnic on the island, this is a good spot to come and do it right here. Come around the corner here, we come to the large stone grotto. Popular place to come and sit. A lot of proposals happen underneath this grotto as well. Got a waterfall, it's planted on top. And it's always cool inside here as you can see. Very, very nice. And the waterfall pools into a large pool. We had a smaller pond here with our first uh, design. We added a very long one. It takes you all the way from the water wells back to the grotto as well with the waterfall here. And we have a lot of koi in this particular pond as well. So we don't want to overcrowd either place. So there's just the right amount in both these spots. As we cross this second bridge, I always like to take a look over this, this gorgeous little pool down below. It's one of my favorite little water areas here at the Dallas Arboretum. It's like a little bubbling spring. And it always looks inviting, especially on a hot day. Be more coy. Hey there. And up to these gorgeous water walls, these sheets of water, quite attractive. There's been a lot of beautiful photography here using these water features. Got a really nice uh, caliente pink geranium. These are seed grown. These are much more heat tolerant than regular geraniums. We use these a lot in our displays. See the water walls in these large vines growing up the pillars. We've got a wisteria vine here, full grown, covering the trellis. And one over here is a trumpet vine. So this is a summer blooming vine. And of course the wisteria is early spring blooming. So we have a different times of year that they both bloom, but these beautiful muscular vines really look attractive here on these stone pillars. We've got a nice planting area here from the side of the water walls. It goes all the way around to the back. And this is a, our kind of collection of, of hardy tropical plants. What I mean by that is these are things that look tropical or grow in tropical areas, but also can take the colder conditions here in North Texas. So if you want a tropical look, a lot of these plants are, are, would be good choices. You can see from the different signage when you come to visit. Beautiful bed of lobelia and the Caliente Pink geranium mixed together. Lobelia is one of the uh, few plants that has true blue flowers. It's just really gorgeous mid-spring. Let's go around to the back here and take a look through the water walls.
see all these tropical plants behind me. These are all palms that are very hardy here for us to take the cold. And this great view back through the water wall. As you can see the garden through the, the, the sheet of water. Really attractive. We also have these softer paths. Many of our gardens, not only we have the main walking paths, but we have these softer bark paths that take you kind of through, <clears throat> and you can meander through some of the edges of the garden as well. It's really nice planting of oak leaf hydrangea here. You see blooming really beautifully. Nice plant here. This is a double flowering oak leaf hydrangea. You see up close those beautiful blooms. This is native to the southeast U.S. but uh, makes a great shade shrub. So as we loop back out, I always like the Take a look at these beautiful, these are dwarf ginkgo trees. Ginkgo is an ancient tree used as a street tree throughout the eastern U.S. and uh, west coast as well, but this is a dwarf variety. It has beautiful yellow foliage in the fall as the leaves drop. And we're back here to the front, uh, the Fogelson Fountain. There's Alex and Roberta Camp estate right there as well, the beautiful white house. And we're gonna end our walking tour right here in this beautiful floral alley that looks back into the lay garden with a lot of uh, ornamented shrubs here and these uh, Texas sugar maples that do an alley all the way back and punctuate back to the Great Lawn. So I hope you enjoyed the tour today. We'll be doing more in the different gardens in the coming days as well. But again, I appreciate you watching and thank you for uh, your support here of the Arboretum by watching these uh, videos and we'll continue to bring uh, the Dallas Arboretum 2 digitally, uh, as even the, though we uh, plan to open soon, uh, we think that people will like watching these, so we'll continue to have them for you. So when you can't be here, at least you can see all the beautiful things that are happening with the plants and the flowers here at the Arboretum. So again, thank you, and I'll see you real soon. I'm Dave Forehand.